Hello, my name's Joe Evans. I'm a materials engineer for SPX Cooling Technologies, and today I want to talk to you about the difference between 301L and 304 stainless steel. So 304 and 301L have a few differences in chemistry. The main differences are chromium and nickel contents which are very similar between the two. Now, 301L is a low carbon version of 301, which has 0.03% carbon as a maximum limit for the carbon content. Carbon content for 304 is 0.08%. This slight difference in carbon content greatly affects the corrosion resistance between the two materials. There's a common misconception that 304 is better than 301 just because the number is higher. Well, allow me to shatter that misconception because it's a little more complicated than that. There's two parts to the corrosion resistance topic. There's corrosion resistance away from the weld and there's corrosion resistance at the welded region. When you look at the steel away from the weld, most metallurgists consider the corrosion resistance between 301L and 304 to be relatively the same. The only time an end user is gonna see a major difference between the corrosion resistance is in very extreme environments, very low pH, acidic environments, environments that are very high temperature, very far above the boiling point of water, extreme oxidizing environments. The majority of cooling towers are never in these extreme environments. So why would you pay for something that you're never gonna use? When we talk about corrosion resistance at the weld, 301L is actually more corrosion resistant than 304. And this is all because of the L portion of 301L, low carbon grade. During the welding process, when stainless steel is heated up between 1650 and 800 degrees Fahrenheit, a phenomenon occurs called sensitization. Chromium and carbon atoms form a completely new molecule called a chromium carbide. Chromium carbide precipitation actually prevents chromium from performing its primary function, which is providing corrosion resistance to stainless steel. So what all this means is that 301L at a weld line is actually going to provide you superior corrosion resistance over 304. If corrosion is going to occur, it's most likely going to occur at a weld line. So you want to ensure proper protection at your welds by using 301L. There are a few other advantages that are worth mentioning. The specific 301L grade that Marley uses actually has higher yield and tensile strength and better fatigue resistance than 304. It also cold works faster, which reduces thinning and provides higher strength in the formed areas. For over a decade, Marley has been using 301 stainless steel as their preferred stainless steel for Marley cooling towers. If you have any other questions about data, please contact your RSM or local field rep. Thanks for watching.